Hello beautiful people. Thank you so much for tuning in, watching, and listening. This is going to be the April 2022 reading for the zodiac sign of Cancer. As always, my readings are very intuitive, so I'll provide you any intuitive messages that I receive, as well as the meaning of the tarot cards. I do recommend you check out your sun, moon, and rising just to get a full picture of everything that's going on. And if you haven't done so already, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. When you subscribe, that helps me really greatly, and also you'll be notified when I post videos in the future. With that being said, let's go ahead and get started. In column number one, we're going to take a look at what's wrapping up and coming to a close, so the last few weeks or month. Column number two, we're going to take a look at, in general, what's coming for May. In column number three, we're going to do money. Column four is love. And in the fifth and final column, we're going to do a message from our future self or spirit guides. We're also going to do three yes or no questions, a crystal of the month, and a healing note. But let's go ahead and see here. We have a summary card for what's wrapping up and coming to a close. We have time. Um, this means two things typically when I see it, Cancer. Either it was time to get something done, or things are taking more time than they typically should. But let's take a look here and see what we've got going on. The first card that we have is the Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles is a card of desire for long-term security. Um, so it seems like there is something that you are wanting, that you're thinking long-term about, strategic about, kind of big picture about. Possibly this thing has been taking more time than usual and that's what's making you kind of have this questioning of it. The next card that we have is the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords is a card of self-imposed restrictions. Um, if you look at this person, they're blindfolded, their arms are bound down, but there's swords stuck into the ground all around them. So they could very easily kind of like scoot back and cut themselves free. Um, so I think that you could be thinking that there are more limitations than there are cancer. Or it could even could be like a mindset thing that possibly is limiting you a little bit in current state. The next card that we have is the Magician card. A wonderful card to see in this spread because whatever this thing is that you're desiring this is saying that you can have it on the magician card we have the infinity abundance sign there we have a cup a pentacle a sword a wand this is the card of everything um, this is turning visions into reality it's very inspired action it's kind of that like what you think what you want you can have type card um, but again good to see just given that you've been hoping for something long term it seems like So building off what we said, I will say that I think things are taking more time than we initially thought they would between the Four of Pentacles and now the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles is a card of patience, hard work, delayed success, waiting. If you take a look at this card, this person planted their pentacles and now they are essentially waiting for their pentacles to grow. Um, so I do feel like you're questioning this long-term thing just given the amount of time that's taken to this point. The next card that we have is the Lover's card. The Lover's card is a good card, especially as it relates to love. It's a card of love, partnership, deep love specifically, um, strength together, but this could also be a choice. So anytime we have two of something on a card, it's very much so a choice card. It's not to say that love isn't coming into the picture, but I think the message here relates to this choice. It's like, maybe again, it's your thoughts that are like having you hesitate or delaying this choice. Um, but you do have to make a decision to go kind of one way or another, it's feeling like, or to pursue this long-term desire or not pursue this long-term desire. Um, but it's like kind of the banter back in your head that I'm getting is that limitation. Then at the bottom here, we have the world card. The world card is the last card of the major arcana. So it's a card of endings. So it's essentially the world coming full circle here. It's completion of a lesson or goal. Um, so I do feel like you're at the point though where you can close the chapter and move to this next thing that takes you closer to that long-term desire, Cancer. Now let's take a look at in general what's coming for May. We have the card core. Love the core card. You see how important the heart is there. This is like about listening to what your heart wants and doing good for what feels good for your inner child. And really, I guess, listening to yourself. But this is about being in balance with yourself, feeling yourself, making sure 
you're aligned there. But let's see what messages come through here, Cancer. Again, this is just kind of general peek at May, what we've got coming. The first card that we have is the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups is a card of having many choices. Um, if you take a look at this card, there's something different in every cup. This could indicate kind of like a commitment issue too, where you're not ready to fully commit to something. It could be a person, it could be a decision, and that could be some of this energy that we're feeling in column one too, um, but we're going to clarify that. The next card that we have is the Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles is a card, a very generous card, but this could be you giving or receiving help. We're going to take a closer look at this here. But likely you're going to be doing a little something extra for somebody this month or somebody will be doing a little extra for you this month. Um, if it is the case of like you giving or you doing extra, that is something typically that like feeds our core. That it's like a feel good type thing, uh, making the heart feel good there. Again, we'll clarify though. Then we have the Wheel of Fortune. For those of you that have watched my videos before, you know I love the Wheel of Fortune card. It's one of my favorite cards in the entire deck. But it's a card of good fortune, it's a card of good luck, but it's also a turning point card. Um, the wheel here indicating that turning point. So let's take a look and see what messages we've got coming. The first clarifying card we have is the Ace of Pentacles. Um, anytime we have an Ace card, it is a card of newness typically. The Ace of Pentacles specifically is new job, raise, promotion, investment, some sort of new income. Um, some of you could be having like multiple job offers or maybe you get a job offer and you're like, oh, I just don't know if I want to commit to that. Again, there's that feeling of have lots of options or possibly being not ready to commit. Um, but again, there does appear to be a new job, raise, promotion, investment, some sort of income. Maybe you're looking at buying a house and you're just like not sure if it's the house for you, um, but just feel like there's new money. But again, there is some sort of commitment issues around it or potentially just feeling like there are lots of options and having a hard time making a decision there. The next card that we have is the Tower card. The Tower card is a card of unwanted change. Um, so if you look here, it's kind of a gloomy card. And this change is good. It's change that's necessary, uh, but it's just not how we plan it to go. Like you had A, B, C planned and X, Y, Z happens kind of deal. Um, or maybe you wanted to get something done in two weeks and it takes three weeks. So those are those kind of tower moments. Um, and this could be somebody else having a tower moment. Somebody could have had something, some sort of unwanted change happening to them and you're now having to step in and help. Like maybe you have a friend that sold their house and they don't have a place to go. So somebody comes and lives with you for a few weeks or... Somebody goes out of town last minute and you pick up their kids from school, something like that. Um, so likely an unexpected and unwanted change that leads to either you asking for help or you helping somebody else. The next card we have is the Nine of Cups. Really nice pairing with the Wheel of Fortune and the Nine of Cups together. The Nine of Cups is a card of wishes coming true. It's material abundance. It's good health. Um, it's like whatever you want you can have and the Wheel of Fortune is kind of that same energy too. It's just overall good fortune. Um, so two very, very strong cards here. We're at a turning point of better fortune, better luck. And the Nine of Cups is saying, yeah, absolutely. Whatever you want you can have. More money, better health. Um, so looks good there. Overall, I think May will be a good month for you, Cancer. Now let's take a look at anything related to money. So think job, career, finances, businesses you run, investments that you have. Again, anything that really touches money. Apparently I put this row a little close to the other one. But starting at the top here, we have the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands is a card of celebrations. Um, this could also be like a family or friend type card though, and potentially a reunion card. So you could be getting reconnected with somebody this month that you weren't necessarily expecting. Um, but feels celebratory um, for the most part. The reunion could be like an old coworker too. Like maybe you're getting to work with somebody you worked with before. We'll take a look at that a little bit closer when we clarify, of course. The next card we have is the King of Wands. 
The King of Wands is very bold, very leadership-like, very powerful. Um, I think some of you are already in a position of power or in a leadership role. Some of you could be moving into a leadership role with this card. Um, but yeah, very, very bold, very powerful position typically when we say that King of Wands card. Then at the bottom we have the Temperance card. Temperance is a card of balance and harmony and moderation. I like to see this in the money column, not necessarily as it relates to money, but as, as it does to work. Like I love when people have good work-life balance, they have a good balanced workload, um, they're not overworked or underworked. So I like to see this. So if you're feeling out of balance at work, this is a good, good card. Or maybe things are just like not, there's no harmony to the work that you're doing or your coworkers. Um, temperance is gonna help balance that as well. So in general, good, good card to see there. The Page of Swords is our first clarifying card. The Page of Swords is a card of like gossip, spying eyes, seeking truth. Um, this is like the drama water cooler talk card. And when I see this cancer, I always tell people, stay away from the drama, stay away from the gossip, even avoid the water cooler talk. So I don't know if there's some sort of truth coming out. And if it is truth coming out, I do think it's like celebration worthy. Um, but as it relates to friends and family or even coworkers of that reunion, there could be some gossip or drama around it. So I would just err on the side of caution. Again, when I see this card, it's like a card of warning like, hey, don't gossip about this. The next card that we have is the Judgment card. The Judgment card is always favorable for you, Cancer. Um, the Judgment card, though, is a card of clarity. It could be making a decision. Um, the nice thing about this card, too, is it has like a really meaningful meaning. I know that was a terrible way to describe that. But with the Judgment card, this is like about living your life's path, fulfilling your life's purpose. So something about this King of Wands energy, which is, again, that position of power, that position of being brave, that position of being courageous, that leadership. Um, so for those of you moving into some sort of leadership or really powerful position, that does seem to be helping your life's purpose. Um, you could also just be getting clarity on what you want to. But clarity is good. The next card that we have is the Empress card. Um, good pairing with temper Temperance and Empress down here. Empress is a card of creation and a card of abundance. Um, whenever we talk about money, we of course love to hear uh, money abundance. Um, good, good news there. Um, but this is also like a card of creation, so being able to create what you want. And for some of you, you're wanting that work-life balance or that balanced workload um, or kind of less of the ebbs and flows of being really busy than being really slow being really busy. Um, but again, good card of abundance, good card of creation. Now we're going to take a look at our next column, which is anything related to love. So think family, friends, relationships, children, anything that you think of when you think love, Cancer. The first card is the Seven of Wands. The Seven of Wands is a card of self-defense or feeling like there's competition. For some of you that are in an earlier stage relationship cancer, I feel like you could like be still having some of that ex drama or like comparing yourself to exes kind of thing. And for some of you, you just feel like you're like having to defend. Like maybe you're having to defend your husband or your wife to your family, or maybe you have a kid that you're having to defend. It does feel a little defensive this month. Like you're kind of protecting your family is the feeling that I'm getting there, Cancer. The next card that I have is the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is a very self-sufficient card. Totally honest. I feel like I told you this recently, Cancer. Um, but anytime I see this self-sufficiency card, I do encourage people to make sure they take time for themselves this month. Um, so do keep that in mind. But the Queen of Swords, again, is that honesty card. Um, so be very honest in your relationship, too. This is like a collaboration communication card. So if you're feeling a certain way or there's something you need from your family, from your friends, from your lover, be clear in it. The next card that we have is the Six of Cups. 
The Six of Cups is a very nostalgic card. Um, it can be a card of gifts. It is also a card of reunion. Um, reunion has come up for you twice now and they feel like separate reunions for what it's worth. Um, but again, I do think there will be a family or friend that you're getting reunited with this month. Um, as for gifts, you might get like a surprise flower or surprise chocolate. Some of you could be selling it, celebrating an anniversary or birthday too. So there could be some gifts in that fashion. But let's clarify this column and see what we've got going on. We have the Two of Swords to start with. The Two of Swords is a card of feeling like you're compromising, which makes sense because I don't know anybody that is lives happily in a self-defense type position. So I'm not surprised to see that compromise comes up. Again, I don't know that compromise is the correct pin down word that I would pick, but you're not feeling great. We are again in that self-defense type position. Um, but maybe there was a compromise that you had to make and now you're having to defend it. Um, either way, I do feel like this is clearing up for you. Like, I don't know that your whole May will be consumed with defending yourself, Cancer. But again, there is some of that energy definitely going on. The next card that we have is the Chariot. The Chariot is a card of action and change and being on a journey. Um, of course, for if you're in a relationship, you're always on a journey, but we're always on a journey to better ourself, take better care of ourself. Um, so I feel like there's action and there's change, there's movement. So maybe you are single and want to be in a relationship, there's movement there. Maybe you're in a happy relationship, but there's still you're still on that journey together, that moving forward. Communication and collaboration will be very big there. Um, that honesty piece that we associate with the Queen of Swords. This journey can also be moving away from this self-defense piece. Again, I don't know how that's going to clear, but I do feel like it's clearing for you, Cancer. Then at the bottom here, we have the Nine of Swords. The Nine of Swords is a card of anxiety, kind of worry, and that's paired on top of that Six of Cups. Um, the Six of Cups can be a nostalgic card, but also like a card of reflection. So there could be something related to love that you're reflecting on and worried about. Um, but that could be true because the Six of Cups is also that card of reunion. So seeing somebody might like trigger those old feelings and you're like, oh, that's why I'm not friends with that person anymore. That's why we're not together anymore. Um, so potential for reunions. Not the best, not the worst, but just be aware of them. Now in our fifth and final column, let's do a message from our future self or spirit guide. So something to carry into the month of May. We have the card ready, but waiting. So likely there's something that you want to jump on and get done, Cancer. May or may not be the time, but let's clarify if we're still waiting or if things are moving here for you. The first card we have is the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is a card, Prince or Princess Charming. It's very much so that knight in shining armor type card. Very romantic. Um, again, if you're single and wanting to be in a relationship, this is like the best card to have. For some of you though, this feels more like a job or business proposal. So it could be a marriage type proposal, but it could also be a job proposal or a proposal for you to go to school or something of that sort. So it's not always specific to love, but regardless, it's a very attractive and meaningful proposal. Then we do have the Two of Wands. The Two of Wands is waiting, so unfortunately I do think there will be a little bit more waiting. So for some of you, you might get like a job offer, but the job won't start for two months. Or again, you'll be ready to go to school with whatever this proposal is, but it won't be for two months. Or this relationship could be kind of a slow start. Like maybe you find somebody you really like, but you're going on vacation for a week. So that's the kind of delay that I'm seeing with whatever's happening here. The next card that we have is the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands, anytime we have an Ace card, is a card of newness. Specifically, wands are that new project or that inspiration to create. <coughs> Um, I do feel like there will be a new opportunity, again, a very beautiful new opportunity with that Nine of Cups, um, but we do have two waiting cards as well. The first clarifying card we have is the Justice card. 
The Justice card is a card of like cause and effect or win-win. Um, I feel like you've worked hard for whatever this proposal is. Like maybe if it comes to relationships, you've really been working on yourself and getting yourself happy and getting yourself in a good space. Or if it's a job proposal, you have gone through and like worked really hard and proved to everybody that you're qualified for this job. Um, so with this cause and effect type card, it's like you've worked hard for whatever this is. The next card that we have is the Fool card. The Fool card is the first card in the Major Arcana, which is that kind of new beginning type energy, that fresh hope, taking chances, going on a new adventure, which we already knew because we had the Ace of Wands. So this is saying after this period of waiting, this new thing is coming. Then we have Temperance again. We had Temperance earlier. Again, a card of balance and harmony. Love to see that in general with whatever this new thing is, there will be that better balance and harmony that we've been looking for. Now at this point in time, I'm going to give you the answer, the opportunity cancer to ask three yes or no questions. We're going to use the Gypsy Witch fortune telling deck. If you don't have three questions in mind, you can pause this video and think of them really quick. But for question number one, we have the two of spades. This is number 34 card. That's going to be a yes. Question number two is the five of clubs. This is number 33 card. That's also a yes. Question number three is the eight of hearts. This is a number 36 card. That's going to be a no. So you have yes, yes, no, Cancer. We're going to pull a card from this Healing Stones deck. This is a crystal to keep with you through the month of May. Keep it in your pocket, put it on your nightstand, put it on your desk at work. Just keep it with you. You have Dolomite. This is good for grounding and endurance. It helps you be authentic. Um, it gives you a base sense of trust, stability, endurance again. Um, helps you stay playful as well too. And last but not least we're going to do a card from our healing notes deck. Your note says surround yourself with people who make you hungry for life. Touch your heart and nourish your soul. Thank you so much Cancer for tuning in, watching and listening. Please do like, comment, subscribe. Let me know how this video resonates with you. Um, as always when you subscribe that's very beneficial to me. And you'll be notified when I post videos in the future. If you feel inclined, I did include my Venmo in the comments box if you'd like to make a donation. But thank you so much, Cancer, and have a wonderful May.